then I'd be done. Uh oh. Okay, I just got an error code. I don't know what that means. Error. But I think we're live. I think we're live. I don't see anybody in here yet, though. Okay, now I do. Okay, we're good. Hey, everybody. Welcome, replay viewers. If you're watching this on replay, you can't leave comments, but you can leave hearts and you can follow me at Alicia Hutch 4104. Hello, Maria. Um, we are doing a little project tonight. I'm a little bit later than I wanted to be, but um, we're kind of getting to a spot where we could show you guys kind of what, what we're doing. So, hi, Jamie. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Okay, so hang on one second. I have no makeup on today. It has been one of those days that we weren't going to leave, so I didn't want to. Hey, Amy. Um, okay, so we're making um, pansanki. Um, which is a Ukrainian, um, yeah. hey Suzanne, it's a Ukrainian um, art and Suzanne. it is, um, it's something that I don't think that they save just for Easter time. It's like kind of like for whenever. So, um, so this is just something that we're doing right now, but um, I think in Russia or the Ukraine, they do it kind of whenever. So yeah, so we got a kit. So I'm going to show you what I have. Um, no, use your napkin. Use your napkin. Don't touch it. Okay, this is pretty intense here. All right, so this is what I bought. I bought this from Hearthsong, but the closer that I looked at it, I think that it was actually um, packaged here in the in Minneapolis. So, which was funny. I could have just gone to the Russian Museum of Art and probably picked all of this up. But in the kit, you get um, this wax. Oops. That's okay, just hold it over the candle. You get this wax that looks really weird right now, but it's just a block of wax because we've been using it so it's kind of black now. Tell him what to do next so that he knows. You're dying eggs right now. Um, so this is wax, and then we have two kits, kit, how do you say it, Sophie? Kitskis. Kitskis, which are these little tools right here. And um, this hole right here, so you hold them. Let's see, how can I show them this? Let's see. I put, I okay, the other one. I so put I have this candle. And then I'm How can I do this? Can you hold it over the over the thing? Okay. Can you just hold it on the candle so they can see what I'm doing? And then I'll show them a little bit on your egg. So what you're doing when you're doing pensanki is you're drawing with wax. And everywhere that you draw with wax is not going to pick up the next layer of color. So it's basically like layers and layers of dye on your eggs and in between each layer of dye, you put more wax. So this is Noah's egg. Oops, I'm not supposed to be touching it. This is Noah's egg. So the first thing that we did was we drew a geometric design and we just did ours freehand. There's like machines that do it, but we're obviously not that kind of people. So um, this is gonna be my egg. So this is just the first step. I'm gonna have flowers on here. And it's gonna be a pattern kind of like, oops, kind of like this one. Can you guys see that one? So it's gonna be like this. So I'm gonna add the flowers on, an, on another, um, on another, like another, session or whatever, whatever word I'm looking for. Um, okay, so the first thing that Noah did was drew um, this sort of um, symmetrical design. This is a good um, lesson in symmetry because, um, um, okay, this is definitely for older kids. That's why we're doing it at night because um, my two-year-old's in bed. Can you hold this a little bit more still? Um, so like my eight year old did it, but I honestly think that any younger than eight, it would be kind of too tricky. It is, it is tricky. And we actually had a fire last night. Um, sorry, Sophia. She started a, um, because you are working with tea lights and other candles, which I'll show you in a little bit, but, um, you're working with a lot of paper towels and, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so probably 10 and up, the littler ones need a lot more help, but um, she did it pretty well, and she's eight. So, um, so yeah, it's a lot of thinking. These are the ones that we made last night, and these were our first our first attempt. Um, so they were really they were really fun. They, they took forever, but it was fun. Here's Sophia's. No, no. All right, so what we did is, uh oh, I'm missing all these questions. Do you guys, I'm sorry, Jamie, I missed your question. 
Um, little ones could draw with crayons before dying. They could. The thing is though, is that these dyes are like a special dye from this powder. And um, they come, did the kid explain what to do? It does, but also YouTube videos work. Um, that, I mean, that's, I would definitely recommend that. So these are the dyes that you use and they're super duper potent. Like I've never seen egg dye that's like this dark. So um, that's another reason why with littler kids it's kind of, kind of a lot. So, all right. So the first step that we did was we drew. Noah drew this um, this design on here, and he um, he kind of followed steps that that we got in the kit. There's different um, designs that you can do. This is a more simple design, but um, Pensanki for the most part there's um, it's a lot of like. Um, geometric designs very symmetrical so um, this is was his design and then you can see kind of where these black lines are this is all covered with wax so what he's going to do for his next step is is it these little lines right here um no he's going to make the, the yeah he's going to do the oh yeah but he didn't do that he didn't do the He's going to do the leaves and the bigger star. Okay, so he's going to do... He's going to do the leaves and the bigger star. So I'm going to do this step for you, Noah, um, so I can show them um, how to do it. So you're going to hold your um, Kitsuki. Kitsuki? Kitska? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the wax is coming off. Okay, well, don't mess with it. Okay, so this is... Um, we're holding the Kitsuka over the flame to get it nice and hot. Um, and then I'm just going to pull it through... You can see it's really hot, so it drags through this wax really um, easily. Yeah, I know. Can you hear her? Um, okay. So then I've got a bunch of wax in here, and then I'm going to hold it over here. So you can kind of see it's going to start melting. I probably have too much in here now. So you can see it kind of starting to turn to liquid, and now it's dripping out. But I wanted to get it all melted before I start. Um, I probably have this overloaded. For this one so I don't know why but it's like super therapeutic and <laughs> and it takes forever just to make one egg but it kind of really really makes you appreciate the art of it all right so now I'm gonna come over here hi I'm gonna come over here Noah's holding the phone so I can't I can't really see your comments right now but um I'll try to I'll try to answer what I can. All right, so now I'm just drawing kind of an inside star. I'm just kind of following the lines that Noah already did. Tea lights, yep. For this part, I'm going to use taper candles for another part. So this is all wax, you guys. So now where I am drawing over this yellow over this yellow layer of dye, Next time when I dip it, everywhere that I have put wax, it's going to stay yellow. So the wax kind of seals that dye where it's going to be. And now you can see it's kind of like going a little bit slower. I might have to heat this up again. So does that make sense? It's just layers and layers of dye. And in between each layer, you add wax. Careful, Sophia. Sophia, just... Okay, well, you need to chill and wait because there's a lot of hands here. Okay, I need to get this. I don't know what's going on with the selfies. Okay, I need to get this heated up again. So, yeah, so Suzanne, I'm going to have to do another part to this scope and show you um, how we get the wax off at the end because it doesn't peel off, but it's really cool how it happens. So then... Um, I'm going to let Noah do this. He's going to add a little kind of a, I don't know, all of these little designs in um, the Ukraine um, have symbolic meaning. Um, I can tell you, actually, in the information that I got, there's um, all these really cool symbols that you can do. A clear crayon for wax. Um... You could, but you definitely wouldn't get the precision that you do with this. Um, that would be a great option for younger kids because then you could just use regular dye, you could just use a crayon, um, and then you could still kind of talk about Pensanki and like the, the um, 
yeah, it wouldn't be as fine for sure. So see that, Noah, you're gonna add that like kind of hash right there and right there, those kind of hash marks or whatever. So let me show you this. This is really cool in the, sorry, this is like really shaky because I can't put it down. Oh, whoops, I blew out the candle. Um, Hang on one second. Where did that go? There was like a part in here that said, um, no, I got this from Hearth, Heart Song, Hearth Song, Heart Song. Um, this is my point. I don't know where that other piece of, okay, I don't know where that other piece of paper went, but it said um, Hearth Song, yeah. Um, Sophie, where was that piece of paper? Oh, here it is, guys. Okay, what? Okay, you can hold it one second. Um, so these are some of the symbols that it shows. Like right now, Noah's drawing these um, pine needles on his. Um, and they symbolize youth and health. And there's um, birds represent fertility, triangles. So like there's all these different symbols that um, represent different things, which is kind of cool, which I, you know, it's like art with meaning behind it. And it's very interesting. And then there's all these different really crazy designs that, I mean, we just, we just aren't at this level yet, but it is really fun. Um, and so the eggs, we are using boiled eggs, which is not correct. That's not what you're supposed to use. But since I'm doing this with my kids and myself, I don't want the pressure of having to blow eggs out, number one. And I, I just, I think that would be really, really hard, like a lot harder to do. So, um, what? The egg shell just crumble. Yeah, I think that it would just crumble. And so, um, let's see. Let me see if I can show you. Um, let's see. Jack, you're ready to do your next thing, he's too. Trying, he's trying. Like Noah just did. Yeah, who has time to blow out their eggs? I do not know. Um, so, Sophie, which is your... This is mine. Mine's in here. Okay, so Sophia is doing... Green. Can you guys see how dark Ooh, that I think is? That's a, I think it's ready. So these are hard boiled, yes. And so that is not correct. So Sophia did not want to do um, a typical um, Pensenki geometric design or symmetrical design. So she just did like a bunch of crazy. Um, so you dye the egg in different colors. Yes, exactly, Amy. Um, yeah, I gotcha. Yes, yeah, so that's what you do. So you start out with a plain egg and yeah, you know what? They're gonna they're gonna rot eventually, and I'll just keep them. I'll just keep them in the fridge until they are um, until Easter, and I'll set them out on Easter, and then we'll either eat them or throw them away. I'm guessing that we'll probably throw them away just because. Um, yeah, you can blow them out if you want to, but I I I just don't have time for that. So okay, so Sophia, yeah, egg salad totally. Um, what, honey? Uh, do um, you want to show them? Yeah, you're, I'm, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, this is Sophia. She's just drawing hers in the, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, don't, don't touch. Sorry. The other thing to remember when you're doing pinsanki uh -huh. is to not touch them in between the layers of dye because it's, you just, you'll get your fingerprints on them or whatever. Um, so Sophia has drawn her own and so she's got, um, where you can see with the wax, each one of those different pieces has different colors underneath of it. Suzanne says beautiful color, Sophia. Thank you. So, okay, I'm gonna stop there. Noah's working on his um, next level. So each, each of these places where you can see the where he's putting wax right now, that's gonna stay yellow. So he's doing the design that I did last night. So you can see my pine needles right there they stay yellow because that's where I put wax. So if that makes sense, I totally did not understand this whole process until we like did it ourselves. So I'm going to um, do another scope in a little while. So if you guys are still up and you wanna see how we like finish this and see how we um, take the wax off, we don't peel it off, you have to melt it off. So it's again, kind of time, time consuming, but I don't know. It's kind of the cool part about it. My boys are about to like pull their hair out, but it's good. It's good to, <laughs> it's good to do. So, um, I'm going to be back in a little bit and show you guys, um, how we take the, how we take the wax off. 
Um, and yes, everybody's saying wax on, wax off like 300 times. So, um, Jack, you want to say hi? Hi. He's just loving it, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, so the kit was, I think, like 25 or $30 for everything. Um, so you get, you get a bunch of, um, you get a bunch of the dye packets, you get two Kitskas, and you get, um, the instructions, the designs, and what am I forgetting, Sophia? The wax. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's what you get. So yeah, it's totally worth it, and everything we can reuse except for, well, actually none of it we can reuse. Um, we can reuse the Kitskas. Uh, yeah, yeah. We can Janice reuse Jop the wax. Yeah, no. Well, you can use the wax. Yes, yeah. Paul McCartney is coming to Minneapolis, and I think that there's a Janis Joplin play or something at the Ordway. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, you guys, I will be back in a little bit. Sophie, say goodbye. Bye. We'll be back in a little bit and show, show our, our reveal of our, um, of our eggs. How many eggs have you done? We've done two, Maria. Two. Because they took uh, They forever. haven't done two. I've done one and you've I've done, done one. one. Yep. Sophia and I did one last night and so this is our second go. But we kind of know what we're doing now because last night was like a trial run. But yeah, they take forever. So we're probably going to only have like so can get one, wax. one each. <laughs> or two. Mine, yeah. I think the one that I'm going to make is um, going to be pretty simple. So I might make two tonight. But that's okay. We can just make one. All right. We'll see you guys in a little bit.